Well, here we are, day 67, back on Blount, Black Mountain Road by Idlewild. Rose has been kind enough to sort of get us close to the trailhead, close as we could. We started going down that one, and uh, there's a big puddle at the bottom, and we weren't sure we were going to get through, so we stopped here. She's dropping us off, Ken and I. We're going to go fill in this section that we had to skip over last time, so let's see you down the trail. Anything to say as we start our next adventure? It's a lot snowier here than it was last time. <laughs> yeah. Which is interesting. <laughs> and if you may recall, we came here to avoid the snow. Hey, this is day 67. Welcome to day 67. Now you might say, well, what the heck happened all those days between the last time you were on trail and day 67? The last eight days, there have been three winter storms come through the places we're trying to hike, including here. That's why there's snow on the ground here. We're actually probably a day early even getting back on trail, but we want to start getting this done. So what's our plan? Our plan is to fill in the gaps that we missed here in Southern California before continuing on up north. So we're back at Idlewild. We're gonna try and do San Jack Peak today. Conditions may not let us do the peak yet again as there might be a major thunderstorm happening at exactly the time we want to get to the top of the peak today. We'll see. We'll make the decision when we get to the trailhead. But we're going to do San Jacinto area. Then we're going to jump over and do Baden Pal and Williamson that we had to skip last time. And then we're going to jump over to Walker and finish it up to Kennedy Meadows. And that'll complete everything in Southern California. We'll have walked all of the PCT in those areas. Oh, I'm coming to the... Uh, Whoa. Coming to the flood where we stopped the car. Really, we probably could have made it through, but yeah, I didn't want to get Rose get stuck when we weren't there, so we'll walk around this and keep going. After we get to Kennedy Meadows, we'll take a jump up north. Once again, great views of the San Gregorio. And all the way down there in the valley, the Morongo Casino and Interstate I-10. Pretty day in the mountains. Gotta go catch up to Ken now. We're at Far View Point. I can't imagine how someone chose the name for it. What do you think, Ken? And I'm also happy to report that Rose made it to the bottom of Black Mountain with no incidents. She beat us. Oh yeah, she beat us by quite a bit. We're not to the PCT yet. We're still making our way up the section of the trail that I decided was a little risky for her to drive. And in retrospect, probably could have made it. But anyway, beautiful day for a hike so far. We're just looking at this pine tree. And these pine cones are all starting now. It's like a whole nother flower. Once again, San Jack. You can see those clouds starting to build though. I'm really sorry to see that. I think they're gonna make things pretty cloudy by the time we get there. Hey folks, we're back. We're back at the PCT. It's where we were about a month and a half ago, right here at Black Mountain Road and the junction heading down towards the um, desert, but this time we're going to be walking up. I think the sign says it all. And we continue. Last time we were here and we saw snow like this. We couldn't wait to get off of it. So you might be asking, why are we walking on it now? Well, we're still at a lower elevation, but these conditions are very different than last time. Last time, there was three feet of snow sitting on top of a layer of ice. It made for very dangerous hiking. This time, it's just snow, and it's a little, little slushy, not too much. It's still pretty firm. We're walking without any uh, assistance on our shoes. And they're getting pretty good traction. 
And we're also not post-hilling and dropping down the hill yet. We'll see how the day progresses, but so far, so good. This is the North Fork of the San Jacinto River. This is a water source with a pretty good flow. And a more challenging crossing. It's not that dangerous to drowning, just you're gonna get your feet wet if you're not careful. I think I'm going to go to the left as opposed to the right the way Ken went. But he made it. Yay! So far today, we've done an amazing job of holding off the bad weather. You might notice we're keeping it all there to the west of us. They said there's a chance of rain and thunderstorms in Idlewild, which is only like, you know, two miles over there. And there might be rain in Idlewild, but not here where we're at. We got to the fork in the road, choice to stay on the PCT or take the alternate up to the top of San Jack, San Jacinto Peak. Ken said, let's go for it. So, we're going for it. Stay tuned. It's clearly a brilliant decision at the moment. We're over halfway up the, up the hill from the fork, so we're making good progress. The question will be, what happens after we see the spectacular view and start to go down the other side? Stay tuned. Maybe you'll get to see it. Maybe not. Hey, there's great camping in Little Round Valley. Well, there is as long as you like to camp on the snow. Well, today has been taking its toll on us. We'd hoped to walk two miles an hour, plus one hour for every thousand foot in elevation gain. But, well, we're nine hours in. No, wait a minute, I apologize. We're seven hours in, and we've only walked nine miles. You have made it to the last fork. Go to the peak. One way up that, one way cut back down. We finally made it. Plenty of snow all the way up. Yet they were nice enough to dust off the rocks for us. I am now standing on the highest point of the highest rock on San Jacinto. And as you can see, off to the west, 
little hazy. Mountains in the great distance. Mountains that we've been on and gonna be on again. Hazy west, but gosh, look how sunny and blue skies. Hopefully that's bringing in some warm weather. Down to the south, all those clouds we had earlier, the rain, everything, gone. We got beautiful snowy covered peaks here in the sand, wherever we are, <laughs> San Jacinto wilderness area. And then off to the desert. Well, like I said earlier, this is day 67. We made the peak. It's not nearly as many miles as I'd hoped we'd make today, but we started an hour late because the place we wanted to go for breakfast wasn't open until seven. And then we got dropped an, off an hour further down the hill than I was hoping we'd have to be dropped off at. That put us a couple hours behind. So, see the lakes? Yeah, lakes in the distance. Anyway, we couldn't have asked for better weather now that we're here. I think we had better weather than people that were here earlier. Kenny is. I'm sitting down now. He truly is standing on the very peak of the very peak of the highest rock. And actually, it's kind of scary. So I'm going to get down from here and see if I can take his picture from a different place. There you go. Now you can see him. And I feel safer. <laughs> hey, just to show you how fast things change. Look at that cloud right there. Guys, it's been like... I don't know, four minutes maybe since I showed you that picture that was nothing but blue skies. And look at this guy right here. This guy wasn't here when I took that photo. And it's only been literally four minutes at most. Although, yeah, the weather response. There's, you're thinking there should be satellites up here? There you go. But it should be instant light. I got nothing. <laughs> Tomorrow, in case you're wondering, hopefully we're going to walk down the east side of this mountain and end up probably over down there on one of those ridges heading down Spit Spitler. A long way, but uh, we'll have to look at that tonight, see if we can actually make it. All right, we're heading down. Things for the record, it's kind of cold up here where we're at, to say the least, and I'm cooking, and I, I set my pot down here in this little bit of water that's there. Oh, uh, well, this, this stove is now frozen. You can see the ice on it. Well, it's been cooking nice and hot, hopefully, under there. But it's frozen at the bottom, and it's frozen the water underneath it, and it can't be moved. And Ken's over here trying to keep his pot warm, so it'll, or his, his gas canister warm, so it'll cook too. But, yeah, definitely a challenge this, this evening. Well, Ken and I <clears throat> will be staying in this cabin tonight. If I can get back to it without post holding anymore. Um, it's got four bunks set up. Three of them are occupied. Ken, myself, and a guy named Kyle from Michigan. Uh, I don't know if anybody else is going to join us or not. It's getting late. Beautiful sunset going on out here. It's also getting cold. It'll be well below freezing here tonight. But we here we can probably make our goal for tomorrow. So, I'll try to do that. 